Happy winter! It's Christy here from the Education Department. Today I'm going to talk about evidence of insects in winter. Where do insects and wildlife go during the colder winter months? Do they just disappear and magically reappear the next spring? Do they sleep all winter? Are any of them actually active? Those are all great questions and I'm going to talk about four different examples today and what those insects do during winter and how you can see signs of them no matter the weather. While some insects migrate away like the monarch butterfly or green darner dragonflies, most insects tuck in for a long winter's nap. Even in the winter when the insects aren't active, you can still see signs and evidence of insects hidden in our plants. Today we're going to look at some samples found in our gardens and along our nature sanctuaries. Let's check out some of these really cool critters. In autumn, the oak trees that surround the parking circle at the Arboretum and line the Oak LA and Hendry Park drop acorns. If you manage to find some that aren't buried in snow, look at them closely and see if you can see any perfectly round, tiny holes like these. These holes are caused by an insect called an acorn weevil. The larva of acorn weevils lives inside the acorn, using it for food and shelter. Often the acorns left behind under an oak tree have these tiny holes since squirrels, who like to collect and store acorns for winter, are very good at identifying which acorns have an insect larva and which do not. Every fall, the meadows within our Rock Chapel and Princess Point Nature Sanctuaries are filled with the brightly colored yellow flowers of goldenrod plants. A few months later in winter, you may notice these round swellings called galls along the stems of the goldenrod plants. After hatching from an egg laid on the stem, the larva of a gall fly causes the bulbous swelling on the plant. After chewing away a chamber in the middle of the gall, the larva pupates and will stay there in the plant for the winter. Sometimes you may find a predated gall that looks like this, where a chickadee or woodpecker may have stopped by for lunch, knowing that the gall fly's pupa is sleeping awaiting spring. For over a decade, the invasive emerald ash borer beetles have been invading and killing ash trees throughout the region. Although the beetle leaves behind some clues for us to see that they've been by. If you find a tree that has been attacked, look and see if any bark is peeling off, exposing the deeper layers of the wood on the tree. You may see pattern carvings that look like this. The larvae of the emerald ash borer create these tunnels, called galleries, by eating away at the cambrium, or vascular tissue of the tree, ultimately leading to its demise. Once the larvae are ready to emerge as adults, they chew a D-shaped exit hole leaving behind yet another clue for us to look for. Believe it or not, there are some critters that come out and play in the snow just before spring comes. These are springtails, or snow fleas, that were seen along the trail at Sassafras Point. These arthropods are usually seen in large groups around the trunk of a tree and can even make the snow look black because there's so many of them. But how do they tolerate that cold? Well. They have a special protein in their bodies that makes them not freeze despite temperatures being below zero. These harmless, wingless creatures sure are a fun sight to see. Even though we can't see them, insects are there and they're waiting for next spring. Maybe you'll be lucky and see some springtails or snow fleas along a trail one day. If you're looking for more videos and activity sheets that you can do at home to connect with nature, visit www.rbg.ca slash at home for more videos just like this one. Until next time, 